One of my biggest dreams, something I talked about for a long time after getting Grace, these boxes help churn the wheel of our doll shop every single month. And I remember the amount of relief I felt when we got our first 100 subscribers. They are printing all custom fabric for us for everything. I wore this on the steps of the Hotel de Louvre and I was like, ah, it was such a moment. Hello and welcome to our Grace Day. This is such an exciting day because later today we are releasing 600 Grace dolls out into the big wide world. It's been years since we have had a rooted Grace doll and if you've been with me for a while, if you've been with me since 2020, you might rec recognize this little number that I have on and it brings me back to such wonderful, wonderful memories of our gingerbread house and when we released our Grace dolls. So here we are, we're about to release some Grace dolls, but Grace, oh my goodness, if I, telling her story is something that brings me so much joy. Our Grace Marie Fitzpatrick doll is the first doll that we collaborated on with the remarkable Robert Tonner back in 2019. It feels like yesterday, but it was actually years ago. And how far we have come in that time continues to boggle my mind and bring my heart so much joy and gratitude on a daily basis. The Grace doll is one of the most beautiful dolls that I have ever seen in my life. And as soon as I opened opened her up for the very first time, that first Grace Marie Fitzpatrick doll, when I saw her face, I was instantly hooked. When I saw the photos of when Robert was working on her before she was delivered, I was instantly hooked, but I didn't quite, quite believe it until I could see her in person, see her scale. A 16 inch doll is quite a large doll. And when I first pulled her out of that box, I was in awe. I loved the experience and I loved the fashion doll so much that one of my biggest dreams, something I talked about for a long time after getting Grace, something I thought about every single day of my life was starting a subscription service. I love makeup and I have a subscription service for makeup and every month I get a box of curated makeup products. A lot of things that I would never not normally purchase myself because I didn't think it was something I liked and then they ended up being things that I absolutely love and have reordered. And the whole makeup experience with the subscription box has been such a blast that I thought somebody needs to do this for dolls and that somebody was me and my amazing team that I have. And so in that the last three years since 2001, when we unleashed the very first Grace subscription box, we have had some incredible fashion moments. And in this video, we are gonna be counting down the top 10 fashion moments for the Grace subscription box and some honorable mentions, so let's get into it. I once wore some fun tropical pajamas to the beach, to the grocery store. We're gonna put some of the photos on the screen so you can remember, but when I wanted to do the Grace subscription, it was kind of difficult for me to figure out what kind of clothes to do. I was sitting there, not with a fashion history background, I just knew the things that I liked, that I personally would wear, and so for the very first season of the Grace subscription, we remade clothes that I wore. And it was such a fun way to relive history and a lot of the wonderful trips and things that we did with the virtual doll convention the prior year. Gosh, it was so much fun. And our first box was in February of 2021 and it was the tropical beach pajamas. Diana Vining has been such a huge, huge, huge part of the Grace subscription. And when I called her, I actually asked for a meeting and this is very rare. We usually do everything over email, but I said, we have to talk. And in one phone call, we hashed out what we were gonna do every month for the Grace subscription, which was a dream closet adventure story all of which Diana writes these beautiful stories, an illustration that Diana hand draws, of course. It's all hand done. She's a, she's a graphic artist that just does such incredible work and a paper doll. And I remember when she sent me the first illustration of Grace in her pajamas and I about died. I just, I couldn't believe that what we had thought of and what I had dreamed about for so long was actually happening. So we took all of these things and the incredible pajamas and clothes that are made largely by Ruby Red Galleria for all of it. And we made our first box. It was for me as a person that was trying to run a doll shop during some very 
shaky times in the economy and in the world. Not only was it a lifesaver personally, but it was for our business too. I have been very candid with you that these boxes help churn the wheel of our doll shop every single month. And I remember the amount of relief I felt when we got our first 100 subscribers, when 100 whole people said yes. And that has always been my benchmark. If 100 people say yes, you know, like that's 100 people that believe in us. And my goodness, did we have fun. So number one on my list is the tropical beach pajamas. And if you have a pair of these pajamas, you have a very, very rare piece of Grace Marie Fitzpatrick fashion history, because at that time, we only had a hundred subscribers and that was it. And these pajamas will always hold such a beautiful place in my heart. Spoiler alert, we have other pajamas coming this year very soon, but nothing is gonna compare to our tropical beach vacation pajamas because it was the very first month. So if you were here with us for that, I would love to see photos. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Let me know. The next piece of fashion history in Grace's wardrobe is on my must have list and that is our leather jackets. And in June of 2021, I was pregnant, but I hadn't told the world I was pregnant yet. And this was such an amazing time because we filmed my intro for the box and I was sitting on a motorcycle and the handlebars were covering my stomach. And I was, throughout that whole month, I was holding our boxes, but I had it all covered up. And so that brings me back beautiful memories too. But those leather jackets, amazing. Chef's Kiss, it's one of the best leather jackets, if not the best leather jacket that I have ever seen in my life for a doll. We since made them in a variety of colors, but the first leather jacket is that light green one. So again, if you have anything from that first season of Club Grace, we did not expand until season two. So all of these clothes from the first season of the Dream Closet are extremely rare, extremely limited. And that light, light green one was our very first coat. And then since then, we've made them in a bunch of colors. We're missing our hot pink and our red and our deep red, but the, these jackets are amazing. And so we put that in a box and Grace went on a road trip and the art and the fun with that, we put in road trip snacks. It was one of my favorite boxes of all time. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about Grace's road trip. Well, by July of our our first season in our dream closet. I told you I was pregnant and there was no beating around that. You could, you could tell I was pregnant. And for July, this is what happened in our first year. We had clothes coming in and then the, the schedule got all crazy and I had to introduce what would be considered sort of a, a holiday, more of a Christmas dress in the middle of July. But because I am a, a business woman, I got up there and Diana Vining got up there with me and we introduced our plaid the summer sensation, our Ralph Lauren Christmas dress in the middle of July. And do you know what you did? All of our wonderful subscribers that were with us in 2021, you ate it up right along with us. You got on board. You said, that's a little odd for a July fashion, but okay. And you had fun with us. And I love you for that. Thank you so much. So this dress is a beautiful dress. And in the reveal video, I was pregnant and we were at the Botanic Gardens, which was so much fun. The dress comes with a, a black top, but it is beautiful and, and it is separate. And so you have seen this in our displays. It's one of Christopher's absolute favorites that is in Grace's wardrobe. You can use it for so many different ways. Of course, we use it a lot on the holidays. In the middle of July, I don't know. It's more of a holiday thing, but that's why I love you so much is that I put it out there you bought it, you loved it, and it's still one of my very favorite garments of all time. Another one of my favorite dresses, and it has to make the list, and I thought about this list a lot because Grace has some fabulous clothes. She's gone on some wonderful adventures, but my favorite adventure that she has been on, one of them, I have a lot of favorites, is when she went to Paris. And when I went to Paris, I wore this dress. This is a Ted Baker dress, and Ruby Red made custom fabric for us. When they sent the sample of this, I said, how did you possibly find fabric that 100% and exactly down to the finest detail matches the dress that I wore in Paris? And they said, we printed custom fabric for you. And I about fell to the floor because I didn't even know that you could do that. Like I knew that you could do that, but I didn't think they were doing that for us. And then come to find out, they are printing all custom fabric for us for everything, which is why the samples take so long, which is why we plan a year out for the subscriptions, which is why they do such beautiful things. It's custom and it's gorgeous. And so in this box, this was so fun because in the reveal 
video, Derek came to the doll shop and we sampled Nutella on pancakes and inside the box, do you remember what your snack was? Little pancakes with little miniature packets of Nutella. And it was just so much fun. And the dress is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It is one that will forever be a classic in, in Grace's wardrobe. We have a little crinoline underneath it, which really, really takes it up a notch. It is just absolutely stunning. We had some green boots that are wonderful for going along Paris, but I wore this on the steps of the Hotel de Louvre, right outside of the Louvre Hotel. It was an incredible experience. I don't know when I will ever be back, but when I was there, I had the stress on and it was a beautiful moment. And so I am so grateful that we were able to put this in a box. So I hope you love it as much as I do. And if you have one, let me know. Well, we have a lot, a lot of clothes to talk about, but we're done with season one and now we are in season two. So one of my favorite memories of when Christopher started here and with our subscription is I had these beautiful animal print type dresses classic. They had a scarf that was attached to the dress. They were beautiful. They had a slit. They were everything. But I couldn't quite figure out what in Grace's story where they fit. And Christopher had been here, I don't know, a couple weeks at this point, maybe a month. But he had just started and we were talking about fashion. And Grace was basically dressed like this. We have it in leopard as well. Looking so chic. And I, and I said, what is she doing, Christopher? What is she doing? And he just came and he looked at her and he's like, oh, you know, hailing a cab, brunch in the Big Apple. And I was like, ah, it was such a moment because we centered an entire box around brunch in the Big Apple. And of course, Diana did the most wonderful artwork. The whole box was New York themed. It's one of my favorite boxes of all time. And we have used these dresses in so many ways. They are just so perfect. It was one of these dresses that I, that I thought, oh, I don't know. And then it ends up being one of my favorite dresses of all time. So the brunch in the Big Apple box, I think is just completely iconic. We ended up giving everybody a surprise pattern. So this is, it's sort of like a cow print. And then we had a leopard print. And then at the end of the month, we sold the extras that we had of each pattern. So a lot of you actually have both patterns, but brunch in the Big Apple. Who doesn't love it? Our next outfit on the must have list of Grace's dream closet is Buckingham Besties. Now I'm gonna share with you my favorite memory of this dress. And Robert Tonner came to our shop and I was showing him all of the things that we had coming up. He was looking in the Grace case. He was looking at her closet. He was very, he loved everything. But he said, this is phenomenal. And I said, really? You don't think it's too monochromatic? You don't think it's, I was trying to, you know, cause I get really nervous, you guys. I get really nervous because I love something. I think you're gonna love it, but I never know until it's out there. And this was one that I thought was so beautiful, so classic, so lovely, but I was still afraid. But then when Robert Tonner said it was a stunning outfit, of course, it's based off of something that the Princess of Wales wore, I knew. I knew. So I ended up actually send, sending Robert the Buckingham Besties box. I've sent him dream closet boxes over the years. I've also sent him some Elowin boxes too because he loves to be a part of it and he loves what we're doing. So it's important for him to be in on it. But this ensemble it was just so beautifully crafted. It is two monochromatic pieces together. It just creates this stunning look. We replicated the bag that Catherine wore and a Facets by Marsha made us some beautiful shoes. And you can mix and match these pieces, but it's my favorite way to wear it is just exactly how Princess Catherine wore it. And if you're new with us and you're new to Grace, when we were making the Grace Marie Fitzpatrick doll, I sent him photos of Princess Catherine's face. And I said, this is, this is it. This is the makeup, this is the look, this is the natural beauty. I like her eyebrows, I love her hair, I love everything about her face. Let's do this, and he did this. Now, is it a doll of Princess of Wales? No, but her makeup and her inspiration and her beautiful eyebrows was the inspiration for the makeup. Now, my name is Rachel Grace Marie Hoffman, and this is Grace Marie Fitzpatrick. Just a bit of trivia for you, but I will always love 
Buckingham besties, and I hope you do too. We are actually coming up now on Chinese New Year, and our factory is getting ready to take their wonderful long break that they do for the, the Lunar New Year, to, and, but to celebrate last year at the very end of season two, we had the Chinese New Year dress, the Lunar New Year, and I think it is just such, the reason why I love it so much is because it was such a departure from anything we had ever done. It was a beautiful homage. The back of it is actually simply gorgeous. We're going to put some photos on the screen so you can see it. But it came with this red umbrella and then we had the Gilded Age shoes, which were so beautiful. Facets by Marsha made those and they were different from anything we had ever done. The whole box was full of all kinds of wonderful things to help celebrate the Lunar New Year and it was wonderful to celebrate because without our factory in China making these clothes, sitting there working so hard for us all the time, we wouldn't have a dream closet, we wouldn't have the dolls, none of this would be possible. So it was a beautiful homage to celebrate their new year and to help be with them as they celebrate their culture and their history too. So I thought it helped bridge the gap between our country and, and, and their country and it was for me a beautiful recognition of friendship and love and appreciation. So it was one of my favorite boxes of all time and I hope you like it too. Okay, now we're in season three, which is our current season of the Club Grace Dream Closet subscription. And Backyard Fun is one of my favorites of all time. They're all my favorites, but it's really one of my favorites of all time. And here's why. The outfit is incredibly made. It was designed by Diana Vining. The, the rain boots are absolutely amazing. The ones that came in the boxes are the floral print ones. Our, our pair is here somewhere. And we had the polka dot ones as an add-on. It was such a beautifully constructed box, but the box itself, when you opened it up, it had dirt in the bottom, which was all the brown crinkle paper. And then we had those earthworms that were so incredibly realistic. Do you remember those earthworms? How can you forget those earthworms? And then it was full of vegetables so you could dig through your garden. And it was one of the most interactive and fun boxes we have ever, ever done. And I know you will agree with me on that. We still sell those vegetables from, from Grace's cart on, on our website. But my gosh, the Backyard Fun Box was so fun for so many reasons. But the biggest reason for me, of course, always about the fashion, but the biggest reason for me is because it really made us play. We had fun with it. The snack in the box was called Bug Bites. It was, it was such a blast to put together. Diana Vining had such a wonderful time with it too. The printables featured me and Holland and Christopher as your backyard buddies. If you remember this box, it wasn't very long ago, so hopefully you do, but my gosh, it was so much fun. And if you were part of Backyard Fun, then I know you had a really good time that month. Buckle up, baby, because our next on our must-have list on our top fashion moments for Grace's Dream Closet is our Western Couture Month. How could we leave out our Western Couture Month? We are not going to. This was such a beautiful month from the from everything about it, the, the details, the fringe, the fringed cowgirl boots. We had fringed matching jackets that coordinated. The embroidery on the pants, they almost look like mariachi pants in a way, but they are so cool and so couture individual uh, pearl buttons on the belt, I mean, and, and matching down, down by her ankles. The buttons, all of it, the detailing, the fabric, I cannot even say enough. There was nothing I didn't love about this month. We introduced it in October of 2023, so it doubled as a Halloween costume, but this is something that if I was a high-end cowgirl rodeo girl or whatever wherever you wanted to wear this i would wear this to king supers it is so cool and to put this out for grace i was very 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 proud and every single box came with these amazing fringed boots we have never done anything like this it was our first time doing fringe this was one of the garments that i thought for sure ruby red would say no Luckily, they've never said no to us. Thank you so much. And they made this beautiful couture, cow, cowgirl couture. And it is absolutely stunning. So if you have this, count yourself lucky. I don't know how, how we would ever top a, a Western couture look. And I don't know if we're going to. This might be Grace's Western couture look for the rest of her life because what more do you need? Am I right? So I absolutely love it.
As I think about Grace's fashions and all of the wonderful adventures and everything she's done in her life, there are so many outfits that I am sad to leave off, but we had to narrow our top 10 to 10, and there's no way I could not include in our top 10 our recent December 2023 ice skating ensemble. Our sporting fashion book that, that has sporting fashions for women from the early 1800s all the way up to the 1950s had this beautiful ice skating ensemble. And I thought it was a dream. I thought it was an absolute dream. We have never put out ice skates. I loved everything about the ensemble from the skirt because it's very Christmassy and the shirt, which could also be worn all the way up through February because it has the hearts and in February it's still cold and it has snowflakes on it and everything about it was such an absolute dream. I thought that Ruby Red Galleria was going to create something similar. Oh no, they made this outfit. They have some kind of amazing machines that knit this in an exact copy of the inspiration photo. They did it off of one photo. They are, they are incredible and the outfit is so beautifully made. I'm not trying to sell it. They're all sold. It's incredible. And I was just so thrilled and proud to put this out there, to put this out into the world, to offer something like this to our doll community so they could learn about fashion and enjoy fashion history and bring it up to the modern world and just enjoy it and have fun with it. My gosh, it was just absolutely amazing. I, I love all of the other Christmas outfits we have put out for Grace. Some of them are just stunning, but this will always be in my heart and in my soul for one of the most beautiful Christmas outfits we have ever done. So I, if you have this, let me know. It is just wonderful. As we move forward in Grace's life and in her career, she's gonna go on many adventures and do so many exciting things in her life. And there's so much that I see in Grace that, that I would like to have. She is giving, she is loving, she is beautiful, she is kind, she's adventurous. She likes to go and do things. She, she keeps it light. She She's just the kind of friend that you would really, really want to have. She sees everything with a grateful spirit and she is the kind of person that after you're, you're done having coffee with her, you don't, you don't feel bogged down, you feel lighter. And that's the kind of friend she is. And so we have been able to travel and do beautiful, wonderful things through the art of fashion and our community that we have cultivated with our subscription boxes and the friendships that we have made. It has been such a beautiful, incredible, incredible experience. And so a couple of the fashions that are coming up here in Grace's world are part of the Land and Sea collection. Now these are not part of the subscription boxes. All of Grace's fans are, are eagerly welcome to purchase them. And this is not in a subscription box, but an honorable mention is the Equestrian Ensemble. The Equestrian Ensemble is something out of dreams. To date in our virtual doll convention history, this is the most intricate design that we have ever done. It includes the pants and the wonderful jacket, the gloves, the hat, the boots, the beautiful silk top underneath, all with individually sewn buttons, fabric covered buttons on the jacket. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, and I don't need to tell you that because I know that you know. You can see the photos, you can see the incredible manufacturing from Ruby Red, it's just amazing. We, we do have other beautifully crafted pieces for the land and sea, but I cannot say enough about Equestrian. As a company and as a brand, I am just so incredibly proud to offer something like this. This is a game-changing garment, it's a game-changing ensemble for fashion dolls in general, and Grace is the doll to wear it. It is classic. It is from the sporting fashion book that we got our ice skating ensemble from. And she is everything I would want to be in this outfit. Absolutely everything. Stunning, classy, well-dressed, great hair, all of it. She's, she's one of the, that's one of the new graces that we have coming up here in a couple hours. So I have had such a blast with Grace's subscription. We hope in the future we are right now working on samples. We are right now working so hard figuring out all of the concepts and all of the wonderful things for season 
four of the Grace subscription. And in the coming months and in the coming years, I hope that we can go on so many adventures with our Grace doll together. More adventures from brunch in the Big Apple to riding horses to celebrating the Lunar New Year to, to going to London. It's been a wonderful way to experience life and to enjoy dolls. That's really all we want. That's all we want for you. That's all we want for us is to enjoy dolls and enjoy collecting and experience the beautiful camaraderie that we can get through the art of doll collecting. So I appreciate so much. Even if you're watching the video, you, you like our content, you enjoy it from afar, or if you're one of our people that just buy everything that we list, there's a lot of you out there and we are so grateful to you. And we like to send you little treats in the boxes to thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. We're so grateful to be here and to be continuing to do this from our little shop here in Denver, Colorado. And because Robert Tonner created this beautiful doll for us that we can continue to create stories and to create fashion for her to go on adventures. We all have jobs and we all get to experience, you know, such a beautiful part of life. So thank you so much. I appreciate you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this walk down Grace's fashion lane and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.